Well, hello again. Now, the South African film Matuetue premiered last week at the box office, directed by Kachis Oledicha. The film is a coming-of-age adventure following Lifa and Papi, who are best friends, on the biggest hustle of their young lives. Now, over the course of the New Year's Eve in the township of Archidgeville, the boys tried to pull off a huge deal, dodge a kingpin gangster and his violent gang members to save their lives. Now, joining us in studio is one of the lead actors, Debato Mashishi. Thank you so much for joining us. Really great to have you here. Congratulations, guys. You know, we really never get to see in South Africa such a celebration of our talents and, uh, you know, a, a display of what happens within the hood. Yeah. And that's exactly what we get to see, you know, in this, in this world. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, you know, you play Papi. Yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about what exactly the film is about. Uh, well, the film is basically about uh, these two best friends who have just graduated uh, from Metric. And they're just trying to find um, like ways to get out of the hood and basically get Lefa to university through the hustle of Matwetwe. Yes, tell yeah. us what Matwetwe ma ma means and how does that filter in uh, to the film itself. And then I know you're together with your best friend. You come up with this grand idea, talk to us a bit about it. I know it's got something to do with marijuana. Yeah. I'm not seeing the, I, I saw snippets of it. Oh, and okay. then I saw some girl standing and you're trying to hustle this girl. <laughs> Since you said hustle, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to hustle this girl. So uh, tell us a bit about that, you know, and, and the exciting aspects of, 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 of this film for you. Well, Papi is basically, you know, the brains, the hustle, yeah. you know, the hustler behind, you know, this organization of him mm -hmm. and Lefa trying to get out of the hood. Mm -hmm. So Papi, you know, he's this rapper who's always like making on girls and, you know, <laughs> everything, yeah. you know. So, yeah, but uh, the film means a lot, you know, to me because it's like my first uh, major film, you know. Yeah. So it means a lot. And for it to, you know, put us young talent out there, you know, it's and you're good. from Attridgeville? Attridgeville. Yes, you're from Attridgeville. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, talk to the more serious aspect, of course. This is such a true depiction of, I guess, you know, what um, life ekasi is like. You know, it's a constant hustle. And young people are always trying to, you know, um, if I grew up in a township too, so, you know, it was always about a hustle of getting out of the hood, yeah. right? And yeah. making it. Yeah. So do you think this is such a, de a depiction of, uh, you know, what most people would refer to of ispidori? you know, yeah. of, uh, you know, what you would find uh, young people uh, on that side of uh, South Africa's landscape every single day trying to find ways to better their lives. Talk to us a bit about that. Uh, I mean, I mean, growing up in Atridgeville, you know, seeing the poverty, seeing, you know, the parents struggle to put us through varsity and everything, you know, because like when you're at Atridgeville, you can basically see like the town lights and, and everything. So you're always dreaming about, you know, what life would be like when you get to the other side, you know. Mm -hmm. So basically, we are just dreamers who are just trying to get out of the hood and make l a better life our, of ourselves. Okay, so this whole thing is centered around, I'm hoping that we'll be able to come. There's your best friend. Yeah, yeah. So the whole thing is centered around you. Uh, did you grow some marijuana and try to, okay, walk us through it. <laughs> uh, no, well, Smu is, is like the, you know, the science nerd. Yes. So he's going to study botany. Yes. So he understands, you know, the scientific aspects of plants and everything. Yes. You know, so, you know, I give him this idea. I'm like, hey, you can use this, you know, scientific smartness to, you know, to fiddle with the weed so that we can make <laughs> this, you know, exceptional yes. thing. Yes. Mok yes. So he's, he manages to pull that through and then throughout the D, uh, the 31st. Yes. Oh, well, so we try to push it through the hood and make money for him to go to university, you know, and some for the party later on since the 31st. Oh, wonderful. Tell yeah. me how you landed this role. I mean, what was it like working with Kakis Oledija? I also understand that Black Coffee was one of the EPs, uh, executive producers yes, of this. Yes, I yes. mean, those are like two great minds in South Africa. And I, I, it was interesting to hear Black Coffee say that um, they're trying to get into this whole aspect of, you know, uplifting a young talent in South Africa. And I mean, someone like Black Coffee and Kahiso have done extremely well in trying to unearth a lot of talent in South Africa. Hmm. Uh, basically, how I learned the role was uh, I was doing my final year at acting school. So I'm sitting in the library thinking what I'm going to do with my life. You know, are there going to be roles waiting for me? And then Bongani Masango, a very close friend of mine who's yeah. actually the casting coordinator in the film, yes. calls me and says, there's an audition at the State Theatre. Yes. I go there, enter the room, Kahiso is there, and I'm like, oh, hey, the big you, and then the pressure, <laughs> you know, started to like settle in. So I sat there, and then we just introduced ourselves, you know, who we are. And then after that, 
They were like, okay, you can go home. The next thing we get, you know, phone calls that we are called for a callback. And then that's when the real work began. Oh, that's fantastic. So how was it like working with the both of them? Working with the Hisu is just... It's so, it's so chilled. It's just like, you are, he's more of like, uh, like your friend, oh, you know. Yeah. So he's more like of a best friend, mm. but, you know, working on something serious. Yeah. So, you know, his jokes on set, you know, really help us to, you know, to settle our nerves, you yeah. know. So he gave us the freedom to explore these characters and bring them to life. Yeah. Final question. Uh, you guys were hustling girls there, hey? So now that we're in the big league... You're not hustling girls anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to answer that. Well, because I'm proudly South African, of course, I would really encourage everyone to go out and, of course, watch uh, Matuetwe, a beautiful story about two young boys who are just trying to hustle um, out of the hood. And, uh, you know, it's something that really depicts uh, what, uh, you know, the township life in South Africa really is like. I'm struggling to hear what my uh, executive producer is trying to say at this stage, but I think I would encourage many of uh, the South Africans to go out and watch it. It's a coming of age adventure following two South African young men, Lifa and Papi, best friends. Yeah. And uh, basically over the course of this action packed New Year's Eve in an iconic township in Artridgeville, the boys try to pull off a huge deal. They dodge kingpins and a host of other things. It really sounds exciting. I'm going to go and watch this one. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. De De Thank De you for She was one of the main actors there. Thank you so much.